how to answer a P5 exam question in 10 easy steps. Step 5. Step 5, I would like to talk about reading the scenario. When reading the scenario, take your time. Make sure you don't just scan through it. Make sure you take your time and read through it. Have a pencil or a highlighter in hand. It is quite useful because you've already read the requirement. Therefore, you are looking out for information in the scenario that will help you to answer the question. Make sure you highlight any important information that will help you in answering the requirement. Remember, as you read the scenario, you need to be annotating your plan with more information from the scenario. After you've done that, read the requirement again and then compare the requirements to your plan. Make sure that every part of the question is answered. So the steps that I'd like you to follow will be, first, you read the requirement. Second, you create a plan purely based on the requirement. Once you've done that, you try to annotate this your plan with ideas. Let's look at what we saw earlier. Earlier on, when we read the question, the B part of the question is asking me to calculate my EVA. EVA means I need to create a plan. I know that I need to calculate my no part. I need to be able to calculate my economic capital employed. I need to be able to calculate my work. That means that I know that in calculating my no part, my no part, I require some adjustment. In calculating my economic capital employed, I require some adjustment. My work, I'll need my cost of equity. I'll need my cost of debt. I'll need my value of equity, and I'll need my value of debt. These are all some of the ideas that I need to have. These ideas are the, the sort of ideas that I will try to annotate my plan with. After I've done that, I start reading the scenario. As I read the scenario, I try to fill in the blanks based on my skeletal plan that I have. Once I've done that, I realize that I'll have a complete plan. Then I'll try to check that my plan is complete. How do I check this? I'll read the requirement again. And I'll compare their requirement to the plan. The reason why I need to do this is to make sure that I have answered all part of the question. Once I've done that, then I'll start to write. Class, remember, by going through the first steps carefully, you will have every information that you need. And therefore, the writing will take you a shorter time. And you'll be able to complete and score a higher marks in the exam. So, remember, it is very easy to say that you're not going to plan. But one thing I can also tell you is that to fail to plan is to plan to fail. That is my end of step number five.